all the praise and all the glory. What an awesome God. Yet another day. Not just an ordinary day. This is the last Sunday in the second month. Oh my God. This God is beautiful, awesome, mighty, faithful, lovely, uh, magnificent. We thank him for his blood. We thank him for his word. We thank him for his power. We thank you for his anointing. And also today we have... Um, uh, we have hybrid uh, section, uh, we call it release, release. So we're going to have uh, people come in with their trumpet. It's a feast of trumpets to announce breakthrough, to announce great glorious thing. And also we're going to have people watching us from the house, you know, get your trumpet and get ready to blow that trumpet. Every wall of Jericho that surrounds you is going to be blown off spiritual wall of Jericho. You know, every chain tying you down, Jesus spoke. To Lazarus after he came out of the tube said lose it let him go you know there are a lot of things that's yours are supposed to be released so your release season is here in the name of God will release souls from destruction you release them from the valley of indecision valley of decision release them from shame from death from fear from backwardness from sorrow in the name of Jesus wealth will be released grace will be anointing will be released the presence of the Almighty God will be released when are we having that here in God's remnant assembly it's gonna be uh, awesome it's gonna be wonderful it's starting at 1 30 p.m. today 1 30 p.m. today and those who want to be a part of that they come in and you have to sign up and with all these regulations has, that has to do with uh, CDC all those are in place you come in with your trumpet and you come in to just praise the name of the Lord and take part in that feast of trumpet. Don't forget also, a day we come when we will hear the last trump. Very, very important. Now, before we go into anything at all, can we begin to praise Jesus and thank him for how great and how awesome is it? Now, I used to tell folk, and I'm still going to tell you today, that you place in your praise in the chart. Let everybody see your name. And let them see how you are praising your God. Hey, because if they see you how you praise God right now, you're also going to see how God bless you back. And so I want to do my own right now. And so I'm going to start praising God. Father, I bless you. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are faithful. You are awesome. You are excellent. You never change. You never fail. You are the reason behind my life. You are my source. You are my advocate. You are my lawyer. You are my teacher. You are my maker. You are my helper. I worship your majesty. There is none beside you. Oh God Almighty, you are the light that shineth in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Without you, there is no mean. You are awesome. Alpha, Omega, beginning, the end. You can never lie. You can never disappoint. You are always on time. You can never be late. I bless your sweet holy name. Father, we thank you because you are the one that ride upon the wings of the wind. You're seated upon the circle of the earth. You declare, yea, nobody can say nay. When you say nay, nobody can authorize it. You can never be impeached. You are always God. You are the governor of all the nations of the earth. You are the protector and the provider of myself, my wife, and my children. You are the owner of God's remnant assembly, God's remnant assembly missions, current FDSF, or anything that has to do with the assignment you have given unto us. You own our businesses. You own our life. You own our health. You own our life. I pause to give you praise i pause this program to exalt your name oh god you are the reason why i'm here you are honorable you are glory how can i be praising and i will not put all my heart there jesus you are the reason for my existence oh god of money who is it that say when the lord has not commanded you have the only say father i bless you you are in charge you've never lost battle you are the man of war i bless 
bless you. You are Noah's hawk. You are Noah's rainbow. You are a covenant keeping God. You are Abraham's sacrifice. Jesus, I bless your holy name. You are the one that opened the womb of Rebecca. You opened the womb of Sarah. You opened the womb of Rachel. Oh God, you have the master key in your hands. And I bless your name on the behalf of myself, my wife, my children. We salute you. We say, God, you are the chief commander of heavenly hand forces i worship your majesty oh god be thou exalted be thou lifted be thou glorified i bless your sweet holy name jesus you are god jesus you are beautiful jesus you are mighty jesus you are awesome jesus you are one hey you are the healer you are the healer to the sick you are the banker to the poor you are the provider to the needy be thou exalted you are the beauty of holiness there is none like you nobody can be compared to you no one can match you no one can get you to abdicate the throne you don't need me to call you god before you are god because before the mountains were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting you are god and you forever be god take all the glory mm, you are the wisdom of god you are the incarnate god that became flesh and dwell among us be exalted be magnified be glorified you are the pillar that holds our life oh jesus you are the builder of the church you are the owner of the church you owns everything the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof be exalted oh both things that are created things that are not created everything were made for you there is nothing made that is not made by you you are the word of god you are the one who was from the beginning but you have no beginning you are the one who is the end but you have no ending oh no one can comprehend you no one can understand you there is no searching to your understanding and your ways are inscrutable lord i honor you lord i appreciate you lord i exalt you lord i bless you that i serve a god with whom there is no impossibility you said destroy this temple in three days i'll raise it back up you don't need nobody to raise you up you raise up yourself and in that same spirit that raised jesus christ from the dead dwells in us that same spirit will give life to our mortal bodies thank you for life oh you have come to give us life and to give it to us in an abundant measure so author of life the author and the finisher of our faith i honor you publicly openly unashamedly lord i declare you are my god you are my father you are my helper you are my mother you are my maker you are my provider you are my healer you are my teacher you are my pilot in you i live in you i move in you i have my being thank you for accepting our praises in jesus name we worship amen i'll tell you something man you need to learn to worship god and worship him in the beauty of his holiness today is going to be awesome don't forget the theme for the month we continue with that developing great faith for exploit i think god is talking to me see that thumbnail <laughs> i see myself there one of these days and i'm going to be looking on the earth like this i use my face i say oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> you know you're not gonna see no human being i like that picture the way god looks at the earth such blue whitish kind of sky blue kind of color sea kind of color what a awesome god we serve hey you need to do exploit faith is not to speak in tongues you speak in tongues to do exploit it's time for exploit let your name be there let your name be there exploit begins with your life when you can live a life where you have dominated anything that ups or usurp God's authority, sin, carnality, and every other thing. You take dominion. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. That's an exploit. An exploit is extended towards what you do for the kingdom, what you do for life. I mean, you see yourself building this great thing and just helping nation lending to nations how many men 
has learned to nations before maybe one or two that nation president has to come to you they don't go to world bank they come to you that please come and lend us money because my bible says in deuteronomy chapter 28 one of the exploit there you shall lend to many nations and you shall not borrow doesn't that look like exploit to you my goodness developing great faith for exploit so we're gonna have awesome time of worship you know and uh, I saw something last week about giving I didn't even know that they had all that and I want to give God praise for all those um, initiatives let's take advantage of it you know take advantage of this new giving thing and it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful I like you to be a part of it you know I think there's a part that they say you take care of charges you know what to do it's not your Jesus I think every every lover of God need to just take advantage and say hey, why are you telling me if I'm gonna take care of the charges I think just just 50 cent or how many cent or one a dollar i would do more that one hit me on i said i'm gonna do more than that you know because god has been so good to me you don't need anybody to remind you to give one key thing to prove your love to jesus is in giving and i want to thank of all of you I want to thank God for me. I want to thank God for my wife, my, my household. And I want to thank God for you. That you are not pressed to give. You are not pushed to give. You are not coerced to give. You are not cornered to give. Everybody just love Jesus. You know, in, 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 in all times. In good times and in good times. And everybody just want to prove their love for Jesus. And we want to thank God for everyone's return. Oh God of Mary. We want to bless his sweet holy name. Please take advantage of of all that and, and, and let God be glorified in your life awesome time of worship mm. man I tell you something awesome time of worship and then uh, Bible reading with understanding and then we have the word then we have other things coming in and we just want to bless God let me also remind you that on Sunday like this we have um, a metamorphic church first we have a metamorphic prayer line starting at 7 30 to 8 always good good time going to prayer worship and then we're going to ward briefly then we're popping into our metamorphic church 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 metamorphic church then we are done with that we're going to our hypersonic fast hypersonic church and then of course first sunday of each month like next week right now like apart from today today is a special when we have uh release the feast of trumpet bringing your trumpet we have release and so and we're doing that carefully and we're doing that by the power of the holy spirit the next sunday is our first sunday of the month and uh, by the mercy and grace of god only by the mercy and grace of god we're gonna have a breakthrough now church starting at 1 30. be there sign up and watch what god will do in your life i tell you something he who has promised will never fail. He will never fail. Keep loving Jesus. Keep serving Jesus. Keep enjoying Jesus. There is a law. What you sow is what you reap. Keep sowing into your destiny. And this situation that you are in right now, it will also pass. I love what God said. It has not come to stay it has come to pass when you read the scripture you read there and it come to pass and so whether I, the level you are right now i know it's a good level but god says it will soon pass because it's going to take you to a higher level to a greater level to a wonderful level to a glorious level to a fulfilled level i can hear a man chatting in him glory that's your lord god bless you richly in jesus name amen
and welcome to Gods from the Assemblies Over Comers World updated giving platform, Tithely Giving. Our new system makes electronic giving simple and convenient to give to the ministry and missions using your credit card, debit card, or bank account. In addition, you have the added convenience of creating an electronic record of your giving, both with your bank and in your email. Let's get started. You'll be taken to a page hosted by Tithely, secure, faith-based payment processing company. Enter your payment details from your card or account and the amount you wish to give. If you plan to give regularly online, you can click sign up in the top right corner. This will allow you to create an account by entering your email, a password, and a four digit PIN. By creating an account, you can save your preferred payment method and not have to re-enter it each time you give. You can always change your payment method whenever you choose to. Just note, you can still complete the giving process even if you choose not to create an account, but you will have to enter your payment details each time you give. When you enter the amount you wish to give, you'll be able to choose where your money goes. Click on the drop down menu and select any of the other options to give, like tithes, general offering, or missions, to name a few. You also have the option to choose how often, monthly, weekly, etc., and on which day of the week or date of each month you want your giving to process. You have the option to cover the transaction fees by clicking on Cover Fees. After you have entered all your payment details, you simply click the green Give button at the bottom where the total amount is displayed. If you're using your mobile device to give, it's just as easy. Giving to your local church should be easy. And with Tithely, now it's as easy as sending a text. To get started, text GIVE to your church's giving number. You'll receive a reply linking you to the setup page. Securely enter your information, and you're all set. Now you're ready to give anywhere at any time. Just enter the amount, and you'll receive a confirmation text and an email with your receipt. If you've made a mistake, no problem. Just text REFUND in the reply. Text GIVING with Tithely the simplest way to give to your local church.
Let's worship the King one more time. Creator of, Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus. The name above every other name. The name above every other name. Hey. What can't you do? What can't you change? What can't and all the glory and uh, I want to talk to GRA Mission Squad family uh, you that you're watching and you that you're gonna watch later on and uh, everywhere you are uh, first of all let's give God thanks and let's give him praise for how he has kept us we're not taking that for granted maybe we used to do it before we're not gonna do that anymore <laughs> and now we know the value of life protection and preservation only God must have kept us and he kept us for a reason and we're very grateful and all, all, all our friends, maybe there have been losses in terms of um, jobs, personality, family members, or whatever it is. I, I'm telling you, the comforter is there. It's the Holy Spirit. It's going to really comfort you. Comfort you in every shape, form, and manner. Let me also share this one with you. You know, in the life of David, for Samuel chapter 30, he lost everything. He lost it. He wasn't even aware maybe his wives they were around or they were still alive and children. And they were just coming from war and they, they tired, they weak and everything. And of course, you know what happened. You know, the summary of the story was that David recovered all. I tell you something. That was written and documented in the Bible for such a time as this. Because God already foreseen. He has he, he, he seen, he seen ahead of time that you two some certain kind of things you've lost. Everybody must have lost something. But we serve a, a restorer. He said, it restored my soul. That's one thing that God always do. And it's going to restore you. Now, let's now come to think about it. If things are happening to people that have think access, they still have access to, uh, uh, to, to basic things of life. You know, access to health, access to uh, food, access to clothing. What 
not about places where folk don't have access. I am compelled to come and be their voice. I'm really compelled by the love of God. He said the love of God constrained us. The love of God has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit and it constrains us. And so um, uh, in this season, um, the defeated pandemic and all that, and it's not like, like um, we're expecting that, okay, we're not going to have such times. We're going to have it <laughs> because Jesus said so. Good news. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand at my right hand. It shall not come near us. Now, I just want us to think about people that are impacted in the world. Some of them, some of the pictures you've seen and it, 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 they, they, they need it so much. Uh, they need it so much. Um, we're trying to do some assessment some, some few days ago an evaluation about how uh, persecution of, of our brothers and sisters in the nations have made this time to be very terrible. You know, the enemy is not taking it easy. The Bible says in John chapter 16, it says, a time we come when those who kill you will think they are doing God's service. You know, so things are just going on out there. And, and we want to continue to reach out to our brothers and to our sisters in terms of um, uh, basic needs of life like food, like water, like just help, like a relocation instead of just being a refugee camp, you know, and uh, just to help folk that are really mostly impacted Christians, and even if they are not Christians, we want to help, you know, so, but these are brothers and sisters, of course, you know, trying to really reach out to all the people too, who are in need, terrible needs, we're doing it, we're trying it, but the needs is enormous. And I'll say, you know one thing, I'm just going to make it open and see how you need to be connected. And our vision still remains this. this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached around the world for a witness or as a witness. And then the end will come, end to shame, end to sickness, end to death, end to fear, end to backwardness, end to sorrow. And then the end. That's what we're all about, and that's what we're doing. We can't forget uh, that goal, that focus, regardless of what's going on. Right? And I'll tell you something: we are, uh, we, 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 we are, we have been launched into new strategies of doing it. You know, uh, you know, new discoveries of doing the same thing and getting better result, even at this time. See, God bless you richly as you plug in. You want to call you want to just uh, uh, just reach out you know in whichever form shape or manner you want to please feel free and expect God to surprise you in Jesus name hello and welcome to God's from the assemblies over Cumbers world updated giving platform Tithely Giving. Our new system makes electronic giving simple and convenient to give to the ministry and missions using your credit card, debit card, or bank account. In addition, you have the added convenience of creating an electronic record of your giving both with your bank and in your email. Let's get started. You'll be taken to a page hosted by Tithely, secure, faith-based payment processing company. Enter your payment details from your card or account and the amount you wish to give. If you plan to give regularly online, you can click sign up in the top right corner. This will allow you to create an account by entering your email, a password, and a four-digit PIN. By creating an account, you can save your preferred payment method and not have to re-enter it each time you give. You can always change your payment method whenever you choose to. Just note, you can still complete the giving process even if you choose not to create an account, but you will have to enter your payment details each time you give. When you enter the amount you wish to give, you'll be able to choose where your money goes. Click on the drop down menu and select any of the other options to give, like tithes, general offering, 
emissions, to name a few. You also have the option to choose how often, monthly, weekly, etc., and on which day of the week or date of each month you want your giving to process. You have the option to cover the transaction fees by clicking on Cover Fees. After you have entered all your payment details, you simply click the green Give button at the bottom where the total amount is displayed. If you're using your mobile device to give, it's just as easy. I want to give God all the praise and all the glory. We bless His holy name. And this is um, Bible reading with understanding. Bible reading with understanding. And I, I know you're going to be blessed today. This is a very, very important section because it's a time where light comes out. You know, God is light. And that light is fast. It's like, pew, pew. That's how revelation is. Light from God's word. So anybody that's not ready to grab it, to catch it, they can lose it. You know, it's, it doesn't make sense for somebody to even be present at church. And when you are there, you don't even have understanding of what's going on there. It's like a loss. So understanding makes you to outstand, you know, because you are sure of it. Understanding is more of seeing the picture. Understanding goes before you, it goes beyond hearing to seeing. You now begin to see God the way God is. And you can't deny what you see. Sometimes you can doubt what you hear. I say, maybe I didn't hear right. Maybe he said two when he's supposed to say three. But you cannot doubt what you see. So understanding means seeing God and then walking in the reality of what you understand. It makes somebody to always be an A student because he understands. All the students will be troubled. They'll be troubled. They'll be like, okay, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. They'll be doing all kinds of extra work. But this person gets it. So he's, he's simmered down. He's rested because he have an understanding. That's the understanding I want to give all of us today. Even as we go into the scripture. All right. Is the mic working? Test it. Yes, Beautiful. All right. Now, so let's go. We're reading James chapter 2. And we stand to read from verse, um, um, we stand to read from verse 14. James chapter 2, verse 14. 14 through the hand and we really gonna catch up on that um, let's go what does it profit my brethren through a man say he hath faith and have not works can faith save him okay the theme still remains developing great faith to do as what and God is saying there faith brings profit what is profit profit is something that you have after you've used the uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the resource you, you, I'm not an economist but did somebody give you 20, uh, 20 million dollar for investment and you invested 20 million somebody borrowed you or somebody gave it to you you know 20 million is what you have at hand alright now if after the business deal you still have 20 million. Did you gain? No, sir. You didn't gain. <laughs> you just have what you have. Why you waste time? You waste the time. You could have put that money in the bank. So, but if you have 30 million dollars after the investment and business you do, how much is your gain? 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars. So you gain 10 million. That's the profit. So that's God. God wants to check all of us out and say, okay, now look at you. The faith that I've given you when you were very young, the first day you gave your life to Jesus, you gave your life to Jesus about 10 years ago. Now you are 10 years old in the law. What profit has your faith brought me? You know, God is not a God of just do it anyhow. Oh, God is watching. <laughs> he wants to be sure you are bringing profit. So God says, if we talk about faith, we're just talking. Give me the verse again. Look at it. He said, we also just say, my brethren, you know, I'm a faith person. And you don't have works. There's nothing you are doing. You want to invest. You have the 10, 20 million dollar and you sit down in the house. You are not talking to anybody. You are not calling investors. You are not checking out and veto all the businesses you can do. Is this stock you want to do? Is it real estate? Is it a car? Is it insurance? You just sit down in the house and you're not doing anything. 
Can anything happen to the 20 million? No, nothing will happen to it. Nothing will happen to it. And so God is saying, all this thing we call faith without us doing nothing about it, we call that action. Faith action that is propelled by the Holy Spirit. He said, it's bringing us zero profit. And you know, God, I told you God loved to talk in stories and in parables. God now gave a parable through James. Don't forget, this James we are looking at is another word for James. In the Old Testament, it's called Jacob. The meaning of Jacob is James. So this James we are reading about is the brother, is the half brother of Jesus. Same mother, but what? Different one? Father. Because God was the father of Jesus and Joseph was the father of James. So that also gave James a little bit of problem in believing Jesus. You know, like, okay, you are brother now. I know you, you know, we, we hang out together. We play basketball. How come can you now tell me you are God? So they don't believe in him. John chapter 7 says they don't believe in him. So they will tell him, go and do miracles. You know, come to Jerusalem. Come show yourself off. But then, after Jesus resurrected, they now begin to believe. That was why they want to bring him out of meeting. Jesus was having a meeting one day. The mother was there. The brother said, come out. We want to talk to you. Leave that meeting you are doing. We want to have some time with you. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? You know, but Jesus never take any offense. But later on, you see James. James now begin to take God very poor. And James now is now talking about faith. Now look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. If a brother or a sister be naked in dispute of daily feud. Okay, great. The next verse so you can have a meaning. Verse 16. And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? Did you hear the word profit again? Yes, sir. <laughs> Somebody's, so just a scenario, you know, somebody's in need, right? The need, the brother comes to you, like we have, we just finished watching GR Mission Squad video, all right? People need food, people need medication. I mean, it might be Tylenol, people need just Tylenol or Ad Advil, something like that. Tylenol, Advil, they need that we help them out. I know we're going to pray for them, they'll be healed, but you know one thing. Rather than take them through all that kind of preaching and preaching, believe God, can I just give it time and all and let me just decree and let me go? You know, that's also in faith. But but somebody's naked, doesn't have clothes, and it's cold, and you have 100 clothes, and the person comes to you and I say, let me pray over you. In Jesus' name, God will clothe you. Bye. Does that talk about faith? No, that's not faith. What are you supposed to do? You tell me. Give them. Give them clothes. So you're giving them clothes is to prove that you have faith in God. That if you give to them, God will give back to you. That's faith. It's an action. It's a verb. It's a doing word. Faith is not just you praying in the Holy Spirit. Thank God for praying. All those things are very important. Shouting, hallelujah is very important. I shout in Lord of hallelujah. You know, amen, all of that. I love it. But that's not what faith is all about. Faith is action. What you do to prove that you believe in God. You do to prove that you believe God, not you confess alone. Not you pray alone. There are things you do to prove that you believe. If you believe, God's going to be, make you a billionaire. And now you are, you are an hundred near and you are not given. And you say you are faith. No, no, you what faith do you have? If you believe that God is your healer and you sit down on the bed and the Holy Spirit is saying, rise up my son. Just rise up from that bed and walk. He said, no, I can't rise up. I can't rise up, you know. I mean, we pray for a lady sometimes, you know, a, a professor. And then she was on the wheelchair. And she walked out of the wheelchair. And when she was going back, I told her to go and sit down on the normal chair. She just went back and sat back inside the wheelchair. That's not, that's not faith. So faith must come 
with a corresponding action that prove that we believe God, such as a person that has no clothing, and we give him clothes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, action of faith, that we turn your life around now. God Almighty will reveal it to you and grant you grace to go and do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's read the next verse. And even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. So there are dead faiths. There are dead, graveyard, dead faith. No action. It takes faith for you to take Holy Communion and say, this that is in my hand is the flesh of Jesus. You can't say, okay, by faith I'm taking it. I take it by faith. Ah, but this is communion in front of you. I take it by faith. Or, I want to give my life to God by faith, but I'm not going to see anything with my mouth. I, I'm already, I've already given my life to Jesus by faith. You have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, then you'll be saved. And God, does, and God is no respect of persons. So we must put our faith to action. Let's go. Yea, a man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Works of faith. How do you show me your faith? Let me see your works. Twelve people are in the boat. <laughs> Jesus ate his eye. And you want to run to Jesus. Jesus was not in the boat. Trouble is in the boat. Fear is in the boat. Misunderstanding is in the boat. Misrepresentation is the boat. Lack is in the boat. Shame is in the boat. Poverty is in the boat. Hell is in the boat. Sickness is in the boat. All kinds of things are in the boat. The only place where Jesus was, was on the sea he was walking i believe in jesus i believe in jesus then go meet jesus you gotta jump up from that boat and get out to meet jesus and those actions are risky those actions cause for ridicule those actions cause for critic even negative critics those actions cause for mockery that's what people don't want. Those actions might cause you to be reduced from 100 to 50. God can speak to you, not anybody speaking to you, and say, yes, you have faith. Go give this. And it's to empty what you are. Nobody asks you to do it, but God said, then you go and do it. And the word of the Lord. That was what Abraham did to prove that he has faith. Even if you ask me to give my son, I'm going to give my son to Jesus. Because I know after he killed him, he cut off his neck and burned him to ashes. God can still raise that ashes to becoming Isaac. And God doesn't need him to do that. God just wants to prove. He wants to prove. He wants a, he wants, God wants to see maybe Abraham truly had faith in him to test him. How many tests have we failed? We only confess that we go. God says, go sacrifice Isaac. In Jesus' name, I'll go and sacrifice that Christ. I confess in the name of Jesus, every power in heaven on earth that won't let me sacrifice Isaac be destroyed. Now guys, let's pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I'm going. Jesus, I'm going. Father, and this is the fourth year this person has been praying. You don't need prayer. You need to grab the boy, action, and go sacrifice the boy on the mountain that God wish. You don't even need no prayer. God told Abraham to depart, and so Abraham departed. We, we know what God said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. Go into all the world. There is no prayer about that. The only prayer might be where specifically or how do I give towards it? How do I pray towards it? That's action. Action. But nobody wants to do the action. And when action, when our faith lacks action, 
the faith is dead. The faith is what? Dead. So we have a lot of dead Christians. Dead. The prayer they are praying, dead. Dancing, dead. Praise, dead. Worship, dead. In those days, those good old days, they call them dead churches. I'm not calling anybody. I'm not calling anybody dead churches. Because we are here to proclaim life. Dead. Dead faith. Dead prayer. Can pray for two hours. Nothing happens. Why? Because there's no action. To prove that they believe in God. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is dead in your life. Anything dead. Dead account. Dead wallet. Dead mind. Dead soul. Anything dead. Oh, any faith that's dead. Receive the life of God now in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's time for us to begin to do action. We don't need dead faith. Action. You got to move, man. You got to do it. You got to stop it. Just like you get to the red light and you eat the brake, you sink, it's already sinking to your system. Anything red you see like this, hit the brake. That's an action. What you see, action. When you understand God, action, 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 action. It send a response, a, a synapse, go straight from your, to your brain and in your neurons and tell you, you got to move your legs back to your nose, busha. You hit up because you saw red and you saw green. Boom, release your feet from the brake. Action, faith. Not, not you see red, you say, God, you know, this is red light, but you know I'm late. By faith, I'm going to jump the red light and I don't want any, that's, they will arrest you, that person. That's no faith. That's foolishness. There's faith. There's foolishness. There is presumptuousness when people just presume. So, faith without works is what? Dead. 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 There are things we need to stop. There are things we need to start. There are people we need to delete their name from our phone, our contact. God won't come down and come and delete their name if you don't want to call them, if you don't want them to have anything dealing with you. You just go there, delete and block. Boom. I don't need you in my life. Action. Not I'm walking in love. God will help me do it. God won't come and delete anybody's number from your phone. He won't do it. You put action to stop. God won't let you write resume. You got to write your resume, write it up, and, and, and write in the way to fill in the job your best and prepare for the interview. Action. And you go in faith. In faith. And God gives it to you. And you are looking for money, resources from this bank. Bank one, turn you down, go to the next bank. Two, turn you, go to the next bank, go to the next bank. All those things are works of faith that God puts together to prove that you have faith because of what you've been hearing. Oh God Almighty, I don't know who's been hearing me. In the name of Jesus, whatever make Mother Sarah, whose womb was dead, but he put in an action to his to her walk, himself and Abraham to come alive again. I decree life for you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The very action you need to take on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to cause answer to come your way. God is going to propel you and push you into doing those things in Jesus' name. That's why sometimes people face trouble because God want them to get out of it. You're not going to leave that job. You're going to see problem at that job because God wants to give you a better job. So since you are too rested and comfortable at the job, God will create problem to tell you, I got something else for you. But you'll be thinking, that person will be thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I was just shut down. Oh my God, they hated me. You devil. It's not the devil. It's God saying, your time is up. I need something better for you. Action. Very important. Let's go. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So God is saying, don't just let your faith be on a believing level and you do nothing about it. Because if you tell me you believe, let me now tell you people that believe more than you. You know, all the demons in the world, as I'm talking now, they believe. With, listen, I don't need to convince demons that Jesus is Lord. I don't need to convince devils. It's only men that have problems. I don't need to do nothing. All the demons in the Middle East, 
all the devils in Asia, in Africa, in America, all of those kingdom of darkness in the marine world, in the celestial world, all of them believe that Jesus Christ is what? It's Lord. They believe. <laughs> he, and with their own belief, they tremble. Ha! Don't mention that name here. They believe and they tremble. They don't doubt it. <laughs> there is no uh, uh, artist, artist, demon. You know, people who doesn't believe in God. No demon, no devil. You can't find any artist who's a devil. All of them believe that Jesus is Lord. That doesn't make them they are born again. You know, they are created for destruction and they are created for that purpose so god says are you in the are, are christians in the class of demons you're going to tell me you believe and you guys don't even tremble oh you think i'm satisfied with that even demons believe and they tremble that's what they say you got to put action to your own belief system you got to put action there not just to say that you believe so that, that's why we need action fit action fit action or well, one day i'll go i'll go and do three months in the nations not one day you gotta do it do it make up your mind jump into it action not i'm waiting i'm believing the only thing with the action is the action needs prayer we pray to receive what particular action needed to be taken to prove our faith such as the story i'm going to talk about it of the man who needed to see jesus and there's no way so they have to open the roof that's the action and the bible says when jesus saw their faith not hear their faith. He saw it. Let's read on. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Let's read on. I love that. Dead. And he called that man vain man. Vanity. Zero. Read on. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac, his son, up upon the altar? Did I tell you about that story? Yes, you don't need to talk about it anymore. He was justified by works. Faith plus works equals manifestation. Faith plus works equals manifestation. Especially where you have received no, where they tell you it can never be done. <laughs> Let's read on. Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. Now we already talked about that. I want to save time. Let's read on. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed God, and it was imputed and put upon him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. This is where faith can lead you to. How faith can literally lead us to becoming God's friend. And love is a bond of friendship. Love is a bond of friendship. So Abraham is called the friend of God. So God, because man, the man really worked with God. God told him to leave his father, mother, go to a land we should. He didn't even know the land. He stepped out. He was gone. God told him to circumcise himself. He never questioned God. God told him to offer Isaac. Um, he did. He was praying for Lot. All kinds of things that God told him to do. You know. And he was called. He ended up being called the friend of God. The best title you want to receive. I mean, when God has a friend among humanity. God says, can I go and do something in the land and I won't tell my friend Abraham. I got to tell my friend. Read on. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Yeah, we need faith. We also need works. We can be justified just by faith. By works. The faith action. The things the Holy Spirit tells you to go and do. You want me to turn the water to wine? You servant, 
go and fill the pot with water you don't need prayer to fill the pot with water do you need prayer yes, what do you need to go and do the works just go and do the works just go do the works <laughs> now listen if anybody meets you on the way they'll mock you they'll say all kinds of things about you because you are acting stupid now listen to me we need wine go get me wine Normally, if you want to go to wine, get to wine, you go to Walmart, you go to Costco, you go to the store. Now you're going to the well to fetch water. In a wedding, we need wine. It doesn't add up. The reason why it looks like that is because every works of faith are spiritual. They negate human reasoning and human laws. You don't hard up. So you will hear some people say it doesn't make sense. They are right. It's not supposed to make sense. But if you do what doesn't make sense, you're gonna and you do you do God's sense, you're gonna get God result. And so they got God result. They, they, and they, do they question God when he said you should go and fetch water? They didn't. They were there, boom, water. And Jesus was watching them until they filled that thing to the brim. He was watching them, he was just sitting down, and those guys were walking. Faith is action, it's walk. Walks. Are they not walking? Are you going to carry buckets of water? You know, you push that in, you go back there, you get the water. You, that's action. That's action. That's action in another dimension, which is a higher dimension. We call it prophetic mysteries because it's a mystery. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You see, only communion is works. That thing is not the flesh of Jesus physically. Titan is works. It's not like God spend money. Um, all the offerings that we give is works. Shouting is works. I mean, you shout and they tell you one world with collapse. I mean, hey, excuse me, it's works. You do that. Like the one we're gonna do later today you get powerful results and you do it because you believe that god cannot lie action your faith is alive faith alive faith alive your faith is living your faith is not dead glory to god glory to god let's read on i think we're almost running up right now can you give us the last verse thank you yeah we have a couple of verses more likewise also was not Rahab, the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. So all those things you see, if you read about Rahab's story in Joshua, they came to meet her. They said, hey, there are some guys you are hiding in your place because she hid them on the rooftop somewhere there. He said, I don't have anybody here. But that was a lie. But God doesn't see that as a lie because God is the one that defines what sin is. Of course, he gave us the law. We know the, the rudimentaries of the law, which we are not living by the law now, we live by grace. But her hiding those people is believing in their God. Ah, I believe in the God of the Jews. I believe in their God. How can I be the one to say, where are the men? These are the men. They will kill them. Won't they kill them? But because she believed in their God, and she's the only one who can help those men at that time, she hid them. Action. Was she preaching? Was she preaching verbally? Was she praying? Was she fasting? She only acted. She hid them. And God was watching. Wow. Because she believed in the God of the Jews. She believed in the God of the Hebrews. How do we know she be said, Hey, I know God has given you this land. Remember me. Remember me. Action 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 let's read on for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also the taught time the taught time faith without calling prayer line is action personally in your room and God watching you saying amen shouting hallelujah action typing prayer into the chart action
commission to prove that the God that backs up this commission, this mandate, will back you up. So when I say type it in, people type it in, that's action. See some people, they never type in one thing. Not one single thing in their life. They said, we are typing it with our tongue. They type it in my heart. Dead feet. I mean dead. I mean grave. Yeah, I'm not talking about everybody. I don't know. But when the... A woman cannot walk. I was there. I was the one ministry in Australia. GRE Australia. In uh, Canberra. Australia Canberra City. So, <laughs> she had spinal cord injury. She had an accident. And I told everybody, rise up everybody, let's begin to dance. We're going to praise God. All the praise team are there. We are going to praise God today. Rise up everybody in this room. And I was saying all that because of her. Because they told me her case. They said I should pray for her. But see, this one doesn't need prayer. She needs action. Because they told me a lot of people have prayed for her. And she's, still, and she's a very wonderful person. She wasn't, I'm a very, very wonderful person. The woman was trying to hop in. I said, keep on doing it. Hop out. She hopped out of that wheelchair. And she never go back to it again. She was healed. No laying off hands. No prayer. She acted on the word she had to prove that she had faith in God. I tell people, type in prayers. Praise God. Let people see your name there. Folk, don't do it. Possibly, maybe some are having coffee or they're having good time. There's, not, um, there's nothing wrong in all that. But they're having discussion that's much more important. And God says, yeah. I weigh your faith. Your faith don't meet up with your action. You have faith in your mouth. You have faith with your hands. But your action did not prove that you really have faith in God. So uh, I'll give you the level of what, the, what your faith level can carry. Did you get it? Action. Simple, tiny action. God, okay, build an ark. I'll build it. I'm trusting God for a nail. God is not going to go and help Noah find a nail. God's not, God told him the kind of wood, the kind of dimension, gopper wood, this dimension. But God's not going to go to the, the, the forest or to the woods and help him to find all those things. He had to be the one to go and look for all those things by himself. That's action. That's action. That's works of faith. You have to be the one to do it. Not anybody pushing you to doing all of those things. Our faith must come with corresponding action. God told the blind man, go to the pool that is called Silo and wash. After God put clay on it in his eyes. He won't say, oh, you damaged my eyes. How will I get to the pool? How will I get there? I don't know. Oh, you don't know how to get there? Hey, remain where you are. Remain blind. How many people have been in the state that they are because they did not prove to God that they have faith in And there's no way you can prove that thing. You can't fake it. The reason why people don't do those actions equals their level of what? Faith. It's not because they don't want to obey God. Their faith has not grown to believe that if they do those things, they're going to get God's kind of result. There was a man there that was lame, you know, in Lysra. In Acts chapter 14, she had, he had Paul preaching. And because he had Paul, Paul perceived that he has faith to be healed. And Paul commanded, let's give me the scripture, Acts chapter 14, Lysra. Paul commanded him. He said, I command you Jesus Christ, make thee whole. The man, he shook himself. Paul never said, okay, bring your hand. Let me help you. He shook up himself and he rose up. You know, look at it. And there sat a certain man at Lysra, impotent in his feet. How many people are watching me today? They are impotent. In their finances, in their 
being a cripple from his mother's womb who never had walked. Verse 9. Look at it. The same had Paul speak. He had faith. Let's see walks. Who steadfastly beholding him. And faith has come to the man by hearing. And perceiving that he had faith to be what? Yeah. To be healed. Let's see. Say with a loud voice. Did you see action? Action come with what? Loud voice. Yes, 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 yes. Don't you see how people use loud voice to shout amen? That's their faith. Loud voice. Stand upright. On thy feet. A man that cannot walk. You think Paul is going to help him? No, I ain't going to help you. Stand upright. On thy feet. And he, boom, shh, he leaped. And what? What? Boom. Full stop. Period. Period. That's how we get it. That's how you become a billionaire. Yes, That's how the dream is true. Nobody ain't going to help you nowhere. You prove to God. So the man must. Someone say they have spinal cord injury. They have back pain. And they're on their bed. And the word of the Lord type in it. They can't even type in. Jump, they can't jump. Shout, they can't shout. Say amen, they can't say amen. They want God to pull them. They want God to cook macaroni and cheese. Have you ever seen God come to the kitchen to cook macaroni and cheese before? No, no he gives you raw material. He will never cook for you. If God comes to your kitchen, kitchen and cook macaroni, God forbid, that will not be God. That is a demon. You know, so, Heli, Heli, Abaleo, Heli, Abaleo, I'm God, I'm God. Where is tomato? Eh? Are you going to eat that kind of food? God forbid. We are not even going to have that kind of thing in our own life in Jesus' name. Oh, where's tomato? Where's, where's tomato? You know, where's grounded beef? Grounded beef. And you say, God, you are here? Yeah, I'm here. I want to cook for you. Would you eat that kind of food? God forbid. That's not God. That's what people want. That's what they want. No action. They want God to fix everything. They want God. They won't read. You understand? There's an exam coming tomorrow. They're not going to read. So they want God to dub it for them. They want God to cheat and dub it. All those things are foolishness and presumptuousness. It's time for us to begin to put what? Works. Works. Action. Actions to our faith. Pray for folk. Someone to be born again. You see, when you pray and they are saying that prayer after you, what's that? Action. Action. <laughs> that's action so you tell people now say this prayer after me that's action that proves that they have faith in God that it will save them that's, that's what it is that's what it is that's why people join service group I want to join a choir action I want to join um, uh, uh, ushering and I want to be a part of media they are putting action because they know it's, it's it's so beneficial to serve God. You see, I can't be serving God on my bed. I can't be serving God in my room. I'm still serving God. COVID cannot stop me from serving God. I got to serve as action. Oh God. And, and just pray for people. And pray for those who are sick, those who need miracles, that God will heal them. Come on, let's go. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come to you. I come to anyone that needs to be saved. Say this prayer as he prays. Say this prayer. Meaning from the depth of your heart, say it to Jesus because He ever leave it to make intercession for us and to and, and He always is been waiting to save your soul. He's not willing that you perish, but to come to eternal life. Let's go. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. First and foremost. First and foremost. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness. Your blood to wash me. Let your blood wash me. And cleanse me. And cleanse me. And purify my heart. And God. purify my heart. I thank you for where I am right I now. I thank you for where I am right now. Lord, I know. Lord, I know. That. Lord, I know that. Lord, I know that. I have faith. I have faith. But I need help to to act accordingly but I need help to act accordingly helping me to have 
faith with actions. Help me to have faith with actions. To build up my faith. To build up my faith. So I can become your friend. So I can become your friend. Help me to begin to serve. Help me to begin to serve you. To serve unseasonally. To serve unseasonally. To serve without season. To serve without season. And to serve from my heart. And to serve from my heart. To begin to work for you, O oh God. To begin to work for you, I God. give you all the praise. I give you all the praise. And glory. I give you all the glory. And adoration. And adoration. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a joy. Joy. A new realm of faith has come. All that God has told you in those years regarding action. What he asks you to do. Don't talk to this person. Talk to that person. Believe. Hold on. Say no. Say yes. Give these, serve these, go there. Why can't you begin to do it right now? And watch what God will do in your life in Jesus. Is that not very exciting and powerful? Very simple thing that we ignore and then we are paying the price for it. But it's over. God is moving us forward in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. And we'll be back with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to praise the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Glory to the Lamb.
Father, we want to give you all the praise and glory. Beautiful God, majestic, eternal rock of ages. What a wonderful time of worship that we can be alive to worship you this way and to exalt and to magnify you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for having mercy on us. Thank you for perfecting that we concerns us. Thank you because you are number one in our life. And what is sorry news? There is no number two. You are the only thing that matters. Some will say you are number one and other things number two. We don't have a number two. You are the only one that matters. And that's from the depth of our heart. And there are proofs to show that it's just all about you. For the things you've done in our life all through the month of February, we are grateful. From the beginning of this beautiful, wonderful service till this time, we're extremely very thankful. Thank you for the theme for this month, developing great faith to do exploit. Thank you because none of us, we hear this word and then we be nothing. This word we do an eternal work in our life. Oh God Almighty, no foul is permitted to pick it up. This word will not drop on fallow ground. This one will not drop on, on the ground that is rocky. It's already dropped in a fertile ground because we, we, we break up, we've broken up our fallow ground and the dew, the rain of God has descended. And then the harvest is here, harvest of exploit, harvest of miracle, harvest of signs. Those who are saying amen already, that's your Lord. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody here, get ready, get ready. This is your year. Bumi, that's your name. That's your name. This is your very year, the year for your advancement. No more hold up on your progress. Somebody call Bumi in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you for what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, developing great faith for exploits. Well, today is the last um, Sunday of the year, of the month, I'm sorry. I wish we can continue, but that's it. So I want you to really um, go and uh, uh, get a lot of um, uh, uh, nuggets from Bible reading where understanding. You know, that's very important. Now, today's title is what is called How to Connect Missing Links. To living a fulfilled life. How to connect missing links, all those missing links to living a fulfilled life. And I'm talking about one of them. That's what we've been talking about since the beginning of the month, which is faith. That's one of the missing link. There are a lot of missing links. But faith is one of the missing link. Oh God Almighty. He said you quench every fiery dart of the enemy by faith. You can quench every fiery dart of the enemy by faith. Now, your faith has capacity to grow. That's why we say develop it. It has a capacity to grow. Revelation, Romans chapter 15 verse 4. Your faith has the capacity to grow. Look at what it says. For whatsoever things were written, were written aforetime, were written for our learning, so we can learn that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we go back to those things that were written before to learn so we can grow and develop and mature. You know, in First Thessalonians, he said, your faith grow it. Your faith grow it. Is that not beautiful? So we can really develop our faith. We can build up our faith. Acts, look at it. We are bound to thank God for, for, for always for you, brethren, as it may, because that your faith grow it exceedingly. Develop your faith. In, I believe, Acts chapter 30, verse, uh, Acts chapter 20, I'm sorry, verse 32. He said, he said that I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. Your faith can be built. Don't forget what it says in Romans. He said, for we go from faith to faith. We don't go from faith to fear. We don't go from faith to doubt. You that you used to have faith. We don't go from faith to doubt. Come on now. We go from faith to faith. And he handed over. He said, the just shall live by faith. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. That was why the man was surprised in Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. He said, oh foolish Galatians. Ah, who hath bewitched you? that you should not obey the truth 
before whom whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth crucified among you he said before in chapter 4 when I come to you you receive me as an angel of God even as the Lord Jesus Christ he said what had happened the words that are coming out of my mouth you receive that word as if it's an angel talking to you and not just an angel you receive my person as the Lord Jesus because I brought the word look at it and my temptation which was in my flesh he despised not nor rejected even my infirmity and weaknesses quote unquote but receive me as an angel of God even as Christ Jesus Galatians 4 14 look at verse 15 he now say what happened where is then the blessedness you speak of for I bear you record that if it had been possible you would have plucked out your eyes and given them to me if I asked for your eyes I say hey listen give me your eyes you literally get a knife and pluck your eyes and give it to me the way you receive me but something has happened a bewitchment has come to drag you from faith to fear to doubt to worry to questioning to murmuring to complain to dissatisfaction we have to focus on developing our faith by focusing on God now last week we were able to talk about joy joy you uh, sorry peace sorry I'm sorry hope 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 h o p e h o p e hope hope make it not ashamed Romans 5 5 hope make it not ashamed for the love of God has been shed abroad in the heart by the Holy Spirit hope make it not ashamed hope is for the future hope is for your future faith is for your now hope is for your future faith for your now many things we say we i'm still believing god for it's hope it's hope it's not faith faith has to be now because if it's now you're going to take some action second thing we need because faith is a missing link and these are things that fuel your faith what we need is joy you must keep the joy of the lord alive in you oh joy joy overflow joy overflow joy walk with me today walk with me today in the name of jesus the presence of god is coming upon you the glory of god is coming upon you the power of god is coming upon you as you begin to plug it into joy he said not the joy that the world gives you not the peace that the world give you he said joy unspeakable joy have you he said we can't speak this kind of joy joy of the lord because you need joy for god's presence and when God is present in your life, He give you revelation. And revelation is faith. Whom having not seen, you love. Hey, you don't see Him, you don't see Jesus, you don't see His word, you don't see manifestation, yet He love. In whom though now you see Him not yet believing, yet believing, yet believing, yet believing. You don't see the manifestation, you don't see what He promised, you don't see the money, you don't see the blessing, you don't see the house, you don't see your bill pay enough you don't see the man you don't see the woman you don't see the miracle yet believe in him you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory how do you know those who are walking in faith god has done it oh where is it don't worry abraham was strong in faith giving glory i know my god has done it. my god you are good my god you are good in the kitchen my god you what's making you happy what is don't worry don't worry god is on my side oh god is on your side yeah he's on my side that's a sign that you are walking in faith you have hope you have joy very excited joseph was an excited person even in prison he was unjustly placed in prison but his story changed oh genesis chapter 41 39 through 40 his story changed because he was full of joy joseph was full of joy show me people that are full of joy full of joy are you full of joy look at this story he was full of joy and Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shewed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. See, God showed you. How will God show you? The only place where God lives is inside joy. 
God lives inside joy. Huh? In his presence is the fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And the joy of the Lord, not the joy of men. Now, men can give you joy, they can give you happiness. Money can give you joy, can give you happiness. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And the, in the presence of God is the fullness of joy. And God inhabits the praises of his people. Psalms 22. Nehemiah chapter 8. God inhabits the praises. And Psalm 16. Those are the three scriptures there. You see, God dwells inside joy. And God who promised you is there with you. Because you are joyful. That's a sign that you are walking in faith. We must grow in revelation. And revelation can only come to us by faith. And revelation can come when God is around. God is a custodian of revelation. He reveals things to you that you don't know. How to go, where to go, how to go about it. And that revelation can only come if you have joy. Because that's where God lives. Psalm 16 verse 11, we quoted that already. Psalms 100 verse 4, you know, look at what it says. Psalm 16, he said, he said, he, 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 Psalm 16 verse 11. He said, thou will, he said, thou will show me the path of life, not death. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. Because you have to show me which path to go. And at thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore psalms 100 verse 4 don't you like that at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore enter into his gate with thanksgiving and in, into his court with praise and be thankful unto him and bless his holy name even when you don't have it even when he has not been revealed to you you're there glory be to god psalms 4, 4 verse uh, philippians 4 4 he said rejoice always i say rejoice Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Paul was a man of abundant revelation. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. He said, through the abundance revelation that was given unto me, a messenger of Satan was sent to buffet me. But you know how I manage it? Joy. Revelation. You know why Paul has so much revelation? Because joy and with revelation, you know, you have manifestation. Revelation is to show you which way to go and each revelation from God comes with empowerment to do it. God is not going to only show you what to do. God is also going to empower you to do what he asks you to do. That is a sign that is coming from God. And you need a way out. When you maintain your joy, you don't have the job, you maintain your joy. You don't have the blessing, you maintain your joy. You don't have the breakthrough, you maintain your joy. Because you have a revelation of the end result of the situation you are in. So you got to cheer up. Stop folding up. Stop folding up. Stop folding your hand. All this worry will not add anything to you. Paul the joyful is also Paul that walk in abundance of a revelation and revelation produce mani manifestation of the supernatural. Job chapter 19 verse 25. The man says, um, Job, I know my redeemer live it. I know my redeemer live it. I know my redeemer live it. And it shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. The more depressed you are, the farther away you are from God. You are too depressed. And you are getting far away from God. If you have lost some things, God is the reason why you have not lost everything. What if you lose your life? What if you are dead? What if you are not alive? As I'm talking right now, the fact that you are alive, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Give God the praise. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are faithful. You are excellent. You are magnificent. You are my God. Hallelujah. 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 To God alone be the glory. To God alone be the glory. To God alone be glory. Exalt God. Magnify God. Glorify God. Father, I bless you. Oh God, five seconds to go. Give him a praise. Give him the praise. Send us praise inside the chart and bless Bless his sweet holy name. I worship your majesty. Everything you've lost in life, you don't need it. If you need it, God won't let you lose it. 
the things you have now in your life are the very things you need if you can take advantage of it and leverage it you see what God will do with it I know you've not catch any fish and you are sitting at the feet of Jesus to hear his word thank God you wash your net thank God you borrow Jesus your boat the next attempt you're going to make right now you're going to get every duty blessing every duty blessing is coming on you yummy that's your name every duty bed is coming Kule, every duty bed is coming it's coming your way in the name of Jesus Dave every duty blessing is coming your way in the name embrace it with joy embrace it with joy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Sammy, Sam, every duty blessing is coming your way and receive it with joy. So we need this joy. We need this joy. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And you have to praise Him so you don't lose the remaining thing. Cheer up. Cheer up. We cannot assess the part of life without joy. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by God's word. That's why people are revelation dry. The joy is not there. You need revelation to walk in faith. You need revelation for faith action. What to do? What to do? And that's revelation. All things work together for good. To those who love God, to do what's called according to his purpose. Cast depression out of your life. You don't need to look backward in life. Anyone that look backward, they can never go forward. Forget the past. Stop looking at the past. You can't change the past. Well, let me say that again. You cannot change anything in the past. You can only change what's ahead of you. Let the past go. Let the past go. Let the past go. Your future is bright. Your future is glorious. Your future is wonderful. Your future is marvelous. Your future is rich. Your future is full of wealth. Your future is full of exploit. Your future is full of divine accomplishment. Oh, come on. You got to chat in amen. Amen. I got a great future. I got to be joyful. Don't lose your destiny. Don't lose your life. You only have this one life to live. Oh, connect the dots right now. Connect the missing link right now. God is speaking to you. He sent me to you. Connect the missing link of your life and rejoice in the Lord. Joy. Keep your joy alive. Keep your hope alive. And walk in the manifestation on what God plan for you for your business for your life for your marriage for your destiny that's number two number three you must commit yourself to hearing and studying God's word first thing we talked about was hope second joy three you have to commit yourself to hearing God's word and studying God's word study to show yourself approve a workman that not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth a workman is a lot of work give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer study to show thyself approve second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 but we will give ourselves act of the apostles we will chapter 5 we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and of prayer those who labor in the word and in doctrine oh god those who labor they are worthy of double honor i see so many people here in the name especially brother nehemiah another one called brother isaac in the name of jesus double honor is coming your way double blessings coming your way double grace is coming your way in the name of jesus those who labor in the world so anything you labor in is a lot it takes work energy energy effort commitment those who labor especially for Timothy those who labor in the word and in prayer very 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 vital you must be a word seeker a word seeker I mean you a word digger a word digger and seeker digging deep of in the word not tired of the word not just looking for the uh, icing on top of it real the word like here in GRA is a word based mandate it's a word based mandate we've had we've had we've had we've had 
uh, the word we don't understand it that's enough that's enough preaching but that's not enough it's a word focused mandate word the prayer is word based one single prayer word based you cannot assess the blessing without faith and how do faith comes it comes by hearing hearing by what by the word of God there are challenges that we face you in the future and you need to develop strong faith to combat these challenges you can be a featherweight and you want to deal with a heavyweight man see we have featherweight we have lightweight we have heavyweight and satan at most is a heavyweight guy that has come to steal your joy to kill and to destroy you i know jesus has done it but you gotta turn it on you gotta turn on the light you gotta fight the good fight of faith and stop you know sitting down on jesus has done it jesus has done it he has done it he did it so you can do it he didn't do it so you can sit down and say he has done it no 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 he did it so you can mop it up you can mop it up you can mop it up and enough of examples for that we've, we've given a lot of examples for that how we must not be deceived by thinking okay it is finished now i can sit down cross my leg and see and say and say it is finished no he finished it so we can get it done he didn't finish it so we can sit down and just relax and say it is done it is done it is done it is done that's not how it works so if you're a featherweight right now develop your faith because Luke chapter 11 verse 22 talks about in verse 21 Luke 11 21 it talks about the strong man there is somebody that needs to be stronger than the strong man when a strong man harmed keep it his palace his goods are in peace nobody can go there because it's a strong man but when he's stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome he overcome him he take it from him all his armor now question was David stronger than Goliath you know Goliath has been a warrior from his youth but David had developed his faith how do we know he's killed this bear he's killed lion so he said let me make a reference uh, God help me to deal with bear God help me to deal with lion I didn't use no sword I didn't know no hammer I don't use no any harrow I use this same instrument I'm used to this thing hey you sucker come back here I'm gonna use the same thing on you he can smell fight and is a winner in war that's how you deal with life that's how you deal with life you develop your faith there are stuff that will confront you when nobody can help you you'll be the only one there but if you have grown your faith right now you can handle it and you will handle it every challenges of life coming to you because there's no challenge that will come to man that is not common to man faith to overcome receive it now in the name of jesus that's why i can't play with metamorpho prayer line with the word with what i'm doing right now i got a coin time out of very busy time to load myself not just to give but to receive i got a bit i'm trusting the lord for mighty exploit no muzzle can come out without fitness center and going to fitness center is not funny it's painful very painful you got to go there and bring out some flesh muzzle i'm just giving an example don't you see those wrestlers give me an example a picture of a wrestler there you see a picture of a wrestler now give me a picture of a wrestler someone needs to learn and give me a non wrestler uh, a, a, someone that doesn't develop their body now you can imagine you don't develop your body you have a natural thing i'm not talking and i'm not gratifying flesh here yeah? i just want to have a picture 
You don't develop your muscle. This other guy that you're saying develop his own muscle, right? And you want to fight. Who do you think will win? Don't call him Goliath. This one is not Goliath. This will, I'm telling you, man. Now, you better tell your mom that this is the last time. This guy is going to beat you big time. They will not even recognize you anymore. But if you have taken the time to develop skills, not just muscle, skills, terms, endurance, patience, pain, it comes with pain. This guy won't be a match for you. Every devil harassing your life, every devil messing with your finances, messing with your health, messing with your family. In the name of Jesus, this becomes the last month they will ever hang around your life in Jesus' name. God is cutting them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off in the name of Jesus. One word coming out of your mouth, you'll be seeing manifestations in Jesus' name. You develop your faith. When he's stronger than he, there are levels of faith. There is a hanku faith, knee faith, waist faith, overwhelming faith. Ezekiel told us about that. Ezekiel chapter 48 verses 1 through 8. You read that up. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17. Above all, having the shield of faith. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Oh God, 618, 616, come on now, above all, 616, Ephesians 616, above all, take him, the shield of faith, shield of faith, shield of faith, shield, you, sh you are shielded, you are shielded so you will not be shredded, oh God, why can't you type it in, Lord Jesus, I am shielded, I will not be shredded by the enemy, I am shielded by faith, I will not be shredded by the enemy, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, I am shielded, my wife is shielded, my children, they are shielded every day of our life, we will not be shredded by the enemy, by the shield of faith, we are defending and by the sword of the spirit the enemy is mutilated and cut off in the name of Jesus they will silence you if you don't walk in faith this is a world of struggle you are living in a world of war you are living in a war in a world where you have an enemy who wants to overturn you but Jesus conquered the enemy and you need to establish what Jesus has done. Glory be to God. The shield of faith. You see, for example, you can't tell me who you are. Even if my father is here with all due respect, all due respect to my father, my father cannot get to heaven without doing something. I gotta, he has to hear the word of God. Relationship won't, won't do it. My children has to do it. He has to hear the word of God, believe the word, confess the word, and be saved. There is no other way. Oh, because it's my father, automatically. Because it's my mother, automatic. There's no automatic. Because it's my daughter, automatic. You have to do it. Relationship does not bridge faith. These are missing links in your life. Connect it, bridge it up. Because you have a beautiful future, a glorious future, a wonderful future, a powerful future. And you have to be responsible for the outcome of your own personal life. Life is an adventure, an opportunity. Faith begins with a choice. The choice is fueled by your interest. It takes faith for you to be found on the field, engaging with the Father's agenda. So winning. You will see these following men. They were always on the field. They were his faith. Moses was on the field when God took hold of him. And gave him an assignment. Gideon was on the field. David was on the field. Elisha was on the field. Paul was on the field or on the road. All of these people, God caught them while they were doing something actively involved. So God get them engaged. And God has not changed. Get in the field of so winning. You observe these ladies, they were all in the field. They were all in the field. Rebecca was in the field walking with the well. Rachel was at the well. You want to be married. What kind of well are you? The well of salvation. How many souls have you bring to God? Don't hang up 
with a man that will turn you to a punching bag. Don't hang out with a woman that will finish your destiny. You see, where the men are, the men who are working for Jesus, winning souls. You see, where the women are, they had the well. Drawing out water. Zipporah was at the well where Moses met with her. By faith. And Rachel and Rebecca. I think one of your key things must be to check a man out, a woman who loves the Lord genuinely with proofs not with prayer not with saying a woman or a man that love God with and we know the proofs we know the proof of love we know the proof of faith who holds the Bible the Word of God as the final say and the only say in their life God is a covenant keeping or a covenant making and a covenant keeping God and when we are connected to him everything began to work. Now, let's begin to round up. What then is faith? Faith is obeying the instructions of God's word and his voice to prove that you believe him so as to commit him, commit his integrity to deliver. There are things, instructions you need to do to prove that you love God. We read in James chapter 2, where he say the demons also believe as a thing and they tremble. So you need something more than just confession or believing. You need corresponding action to prove that you believe. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. I give you a pass mark. But hey, you are not different. You are no different from demons. If you believe, Demons also believe, but they put action. They don't put action to what they do. They only tremble. You, go beyond the demons. Go beyond demons. Put action to your faith. Don't let anybody tell you they love you or they have faith in you. Let them put action to it. Ask God. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7, God told Noah to build an ark. Noah did not sit in the house and start confessing and praying and fasting. Noah went to the woods. He went to go and begin to get some log, some gopper woods and cut them and slice them and get some nails and begin to build. And God is boys involved. Because I know there might not be rain in the last 120 years. But I believe the one who make the covenant will keep the covenant. If he says there will be rain, if he says he will destroy the world with flood, I know he can never lie. So I can build on the day that the rain comes. Before the rain, I better start building and make sure I finish building because what I build it's not for God. What I build is for me. If I build something small, I might not be able to enter it. You are deceiving yourself. Look at my size. I'm a six footer to the glory of God. And uh, God forbid that person wants to live in a house. You now build a house of this size. And you tell everybody, I'm done. And it was a house. I'm done. You are deceiving yourself. The day you need to run into your house, nothing will enter. You know, all these things you are building, prayer, fasting, giving, sowing, honesty, integrity, you are not doing it for God. You are doing it for yourself and your children and your family. The day of danger, when God sent the flood, when God sent stuff, when God sent COVID and all those things, well, you need to run into what you build. You don't build it well, it's leaking, we shall see on that day. There's somebody that he was told to build. He's a, he's a builder, he's an investor. He's working for someone. And then he was, he was a very, very diligent person. And the person wanted to reward him. The person now said, I want you to build this house. Give him a lot of money. Build the house to the best best 
He never cheat. He never steal people's money. He built that house to his best. Solid foundation. Didn't go for cheap stuff. Didn't go for cheap labor. And he built it solid. Painted. Perfection. Perfection. Just like he used to do. You know what happened? When the guy came to inspect the house, the guy looked up, down, everywhere. The house was like a mansion. He said, you tried. You tried. But you know one thing? Give me the keys. This is your house. This house that you build is for you. The guy was weeping. Question. What if he has used fake material? What if he has, you know, done some stuff that will make the house to collapse? He never knew he was building a house for himself. All these things you are doing, you are doing something for your children, for your children's children. You don't do it well, you are hiding, you are sneaking, you are pretending, oh, developing great faith. Developing great faith. Developing great faith. Noah was moved with fear, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7. He quickly did it. He moved out. He moved out. Go forward was the instruction God gave to Moses. But they see, the sea did not part. You got to go forward. A lot of people want the sea to part, then they will go forward. No. You have to go into the water. It's when you put feet inside the water. Ah, I'm almost drowning. Ah, I'm almost drowning. Ah, I'm almost drowning. That's now when God will part the sea. Not that you stay back. You say, you know one thing? I, I'm not going to do it. I will stay here. Get me a seat, please. I need a seat. I'll be praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this water part. Let this water part. That one is not faith. That is hope. Faith is now. How was it now? You take an action. When? Now. The action is what is called revelation. That revelation, God is the one who reveal it to you in the place of fasting and prayer and hope and joy and study of the word. You mix those that, all those together, God will give you revelation of what to do. You do those things, you get your result. How do I know it's a revelation from God? When you do it, it will produce result. How do I know it's not a revelation from God? When you do it, no no production. When Sarah said, Marry Agar, maybe God will give us a child through this slave. It's a revelation I got from God. It was not a revelation. Up to today, we are still suffering from that decision. So if you tell me, God told you, it's supposed to produce the nature of God. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. Because God cannot be any other thing but that. And many things people call revelation today is no revelation. It is affliction. It comes like revelation and it end, end up to become an affliction. May you not be swimming in the river of affliction in the name of Jesus. That's why your joy is very important. So the devil don't contaminate what you're doing. I mean, we can see a lot of examples. I got a roundup. A lot of example of what you need to do. I mean, think about it. Right there at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. I said it during Bible reading, we understand it. Fill the pot with water. Fill the pot with water. Faith will make you to go and do it. Not say, excuse me, sir. Um, I'm, a, I'm a scientist. Um, I'm a nutritionist, sir. Uh, what do you mean? How do we do that? Uh, are you saying that we should go and buy? No, that's not what he told you. When there was five loaves and two fish, action, make the men sit down in 50s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, you, go to, you know what it is? 5,000 men, their wives and children, and you're going to make them sit down in 50s? That is faith. As if the food is somewhere. No food, no food bank anywhere. One to fifty. Okay, you stay there. Don't move. Please don't move. 
an organization arrangement no food until you guys listen see people think so much about let's help them no they gotta be organized anywhere there's no organization satan is there he calls it the land of darkness job chapter 10 a land where there is no order is a land of darkness faith is orderliness there are people they don't have order in their life order orderliness job job place orderliness in prayer orderliness in confession of the word orderliness is how to spend their time orderliness is never missing prayer line i'm not talking about people that you know occasionally things happen a land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any other and first corinthians chapter 14 the last verse said let everything be done decently that's 40 and in order 50 sit down here you stand up i'm not going to give it to you stop please we're not doing anything i told you to sit down until you sit down that's what God is telling you. Until you learn some certain things in your life. Until you learn to obey God. Until you learn to pray. Until you learn to live above sin. Until you learn to thank God even if you don't have the result. God ain't gonna do it. You gotta learn. 50, thank you. 50, thank you. 50, now protocol, go there. I see three people standing up there. Make them sit down. It takes a lot of faith. For you to make men sit down when they don't know what they're going to eat. That's faith. And we are sitting down. Okay, what are you going to give us? We sat down now. Faith. Bring me the five loaves, please, and the two fish. Father, I give you thanks, not I complain. Did you see what's going on there? We can go on and on. Go to the pool that's called Siloam. Go wash. I'm going to read one with clothes. Glory be to God. Mark chapter 2. There was a paralytic man there. And the place was so... Oh my God. I wish we can continue this stuff. But you know, uh, God is going to give us grace to deal with it some other day. But we've learned it. Mark chapter 2 verse 1. Look at it. Glory be to God. Mark chapter 2 verse 1. And again, he entered into Capernaum. I see people, God entering your life right now. Everyone that's typing an amen into that chat, God enters your life. God enters your finances. God enters your family. God enters your body. God enters this week. This is the last week of the month of February. God just entered. Jesus just entered. Omnipotent God enters. Provider enter. Healer enter. Ability enter. Strength enter. Miracle signs and wonders just enter right now in the name of Jesus after some days it was noise that he was in the house when Jesus enters solution enter these are not the days that you know the prophetic will visit you and nothing will happen you yourself you know if the prophetic comes today something must happen and again he enter look at verse 2 look at verse 2 we're running up right now let's begin to worship him Let's begin to worship him quickly, quickly. Let's begin to worship him. And straight away, many were gathered together. They were gathered as skeptics. They were gathered as writing notes, to write notes. Is there something wrong in writing notes? They were gathered to judge. They were gathered to critique. They were gathered to report. They were gathered to get on social news. They were gathered for wrong motive. So we talk about crowd. Who were gathered, but they were faithless. The solution to their problem is in town. But they were gathered to celebrate the name not to celebrate the person to celebrate denomination not to celebrate jesus to felicitate not to fellowship with him they were gathered why are you gathered today 
unto Jesus. On this phone device, on your laptop, on your desktop, or whatever device, are you gathered unto God to hear him? Because it's your solution. He's going to help you. He's going to move you forward. He's going to give you a master key. He's going to open the door for you. He's going to put your enemy to shame. In the name of Jesus, God is about to help you. God is about to give you a new job. God is about to surprise you. Maritally, God is going to add color to you. Your family shall be blessed. Your going on shall be blessed. Your coming in shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, God will turn the tide for you right now. In the name of Jesus, be gathered unto Jesus. Gathered unto him. The whole school song says, we are gathering together unto thee. <laughs> we are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall be gathering of his people be. We are gathering together unto thee. Another song says, we are here again. I am here again. Father, I am here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control here again. I'm not here for you. Do you hear me? I'm not here for you. Father, I am here for you. Holy Ghost, come and take control. You know the phone I'm hearing, I'm holding right now, as I'm watching this program, I'm here for Jesus. I'm here for my Savior. I'm here for my leader. I'm here for my provider. I'm here for the one who says, this is a year my billions are coming. Somebody billions is coming this year. In the name of Jesus. Don't be distracted. Don't be mixed up with the crowd. The crowd want to say, hey, Jesus is in my house. Jesus, Jesus is in my house now. Jesus, Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. Hey, 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 J-E-S-U-S. Hey, hey. They're all there. They're all there. There is nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong with it when we take Jesus out. Look at it. We're going to close. Let's go. And the Come unto him, bringing one sick of the, this man has cerebral palsy, terrible disease, which was born of four. So four people carried him, one on this side, one on the other side, one on the east pole, or the, uh, the north pole, and one on the west pole, west, north, south, and east. And they were carrying that man, and the house was crowded. Here we go, look at it. Look at what it says. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press. You see pressure. Pressure. Something is pressing you. You can't. You see. Now these guys have a focus. They are not going to attend the meeting. Nagilo Mangalido. They are not going there because they want to put their name down and sign up for an event. They are not going there because they just want to go. They are going there because they need a change. You need some people around your life. Four people, you need them, four lepers. You need people that will take you to Jesus. Oh my God, not one, two, three, four. You need something on this earth that's four governs the earth that will make you stand on Jesus and lead you to Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Monday, Tuesday, it's all about Jesus. Wednesday, it's all about Jesus. Thursday, take me to Jesus. Oh, Friday, take me to Jesus. Saturday, take me Jesus. Take me deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. I just want to love you more and more for I know to be deeper in love. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Take me to Jesus. Oh yeah, don't take me to denomination. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Take me to Jesus. Why? He has my answer. This cerebral process is over. This poverty is over. This shame is over. This powers of darkness harassing me is over. This limitation is over. This depression is over. This backwardness is over. This failure is over. This job, this is not the kind of job I'm supposed to be doing. This is not the kind of income I'm supposed to have. This is not the kind of lifestyle I'm supposed to be living. It's over. It's over now. Take me to Jesus for men. Where are the people around you taking you to? To the club? Taking you to religion? Taking you to war? Taking you to fighting? Taking you to blackmailing people? Defaming people? Is that where they are taking you to? I'm tired of that! I ain't gonna let me take you there anymore! This man already had a problem. He was a boss. You all can walk. This is the problem. That's why you see people that have problem in their life. 
they are the one that wants to know God. The people that have problems are the ones that want to be like Jesus. They need miracles. They need signs. They need wonders. They need breakthrough. I'm one of them. Receive your breakthrough now as I receive mine now. Major breakthrough. Major, major is coming your way. He's going to be this week. He's going to be this week. I'm taking you to Jesus. He's going to be this week. For me. Read on. Now look at us. Three, please. Look at us three. And they come unto him. Bring him one signal. Verse four. So we are four men. North, east, south, west. Winter. Four. Winter. Spring. Summer. Four. Four. Four legs on the chair. Four. Four. Four realms. Four. Gas. Liquid. Solid. Plasma. Four. Four. And when they could not, look at the pressure, that's to test your faith. When they could not come nigh unto him for the prayers, they, they went back home. They complained. They grumbled. They said it's not working. No! They uncovered the roof. Hey! That is the corresponding action. The Holy Ghost! They went to God. God, what do we do? God says, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Whatever can be broken, break it. You fix it later. If you have to break the roof, break the roof. They unco- you don't have to do that. That was what they did. Go and receive your home from God. They uncovered the roof where he was. Not the roof where Jesus is not. I have to see Jesus. Just, just bring me in front of him. And for you to see Jesus, there will be impediment, difficulty, but you can still make it. Able to see the man, you are discouraged and you begin to complain. They uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed, wherein the sick of the palsy lay are closed. Verse 5. Verse 5. When Jesus, I thought faith is something you have to say, I thought faith is something you have to confess. I don't know that faith is something that Jesus has to see. Wow. Actions are weighed by God. First Samuel chapter 2. Then you go back to Mark 2 5. By him, actions are weighed. I believe verse 30. By him, actions are weighed. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proud. Your, your talk is cheap talk is cheap let not arrogancy come out of your mouth for the Lord is in God of no he knows you he knows you actions and by him actions are weighed why would this man tell these four people to open the roof what if he fell down he fell down while they were trying to do it and he died this is risky fate is risky wow this is risky. I didn't tell them to do it, but they did it anyway. Just to get to me, I'm not a wicked girl. How can this church fast 120 days? And this, my son, fasted all through the year. And this guy, every Thanksgiving, he always wants to be in my presence. When he's supposed to be with his family, cutting cake and doing all kinds of things. Why is he doing this? Actions are weighed. He has never missed my presence during snow. Why? Uncommon faith. I am preparing this guy for something great in the future. And the future is not future. The future is now. By him, actions are we. Why would this guy take the first fruit and the last fruit in the year and give it to me? And I have to really bleed to pay all the financial responsibilities. Why will he have to do this? By him, actions are weighed. God is weighing your actions for God's reaction. Action, reaction, action, reaction, action, reaction, action, reaction. The reaction of God will eliminate poverty out of your life eternally in Jesus' name. That's what I have for you for the whole month. We're going to sing and worship. 
for the whole month it's a lot we've not even defined it but the few that you've heard I just wanted to pray that it will do you good actions of faith wow see them opening the roof where did they get the tech the rope and they make sure the man was not it didn't land in front of Andrew not in front of the usher it was right there on the spot where Jesus was this was a calculated effort and nobody tell them to do it not that there's one who leaked there's something angel showed up it was just an instinct on their inside that said if Jesus is in the room if he can set eyes on us for this thing we've done it's not a wicked God how can I be doing this since the first week of February 2020 to the first week of 2021 never miss it not because I need anything from him not because he should keep me but because I love him and then he will not abandon me and reject me and say forget you ah that's not the God I serve I like you to rise up on your feet wherever you are and begin to worship Jesus and give him thanks and pray that Lord Jesus from today I'm putting action to my faith from today I'm putting action instinct from my inside action to my faith I got to prove that I believe you because all things are possible Begin to give him praise. Lord, I give you praise. That's an action now. Action of praise. You're worthy. You're faithful. Oh God, I give you all the praise. I give you one minute. La dos kaba. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name. There is none like you. I worship your majesty. Somebody give him praise. Give him praise. There are things you will do this week. There are things that have changed in your life. Oh, your perception of God. The way you approach God. The way you seek God's face. Everything has changed. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. I give you all the glory. I give 30 seconds to go you are worthy oh yes lord you are worthy oh black get this so kapara this kobele and telebidos kabaya debos kaba jesus i worship your majesty i give you all the praise i'm thanking you on credit because i know it's already done it's already settled my case is settled you've moved me forward i will never be the same again the door is open ah jesus take all the glory oh take all the honor oh take all the adoration be the now exalted prophesying to your life prophesying to your life I'm going forward I will not be put to shame I will never be ashamed doors are open for me I'm walking in prosperity I'm walking in abundance I am the righteousness of God in the name of Jesus oh let the weak say I'm strong I'm strong in the Lord let the sick say I'm healed I am healed I can never be sick he said there shall no one be sick Isaiah give it to me no one shall be sick there no one shall I'll be sick there here in GRA no one shall say I am sick hey hey we are here and the inhabitants of GRA shall not say I am sick they will say the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity Lord we thank you for wealth we thank you for more than enough we thank you for peace we thank you for joy we thank you for divine intervention we thank you for the direction all the things you've done by faith I see billionaires being raised by faith in the name of Jesus I see people achiever being raised by faith I see those who we do exploit being raised they are raised now that's why they are standing that's why they are praising God that's why they are blessing God it's done already He's done. He's already provided. He's already provided. Take all the glory, Jesus. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Yes, give him praise. Give him praise. Father, we thank you for what you've taught us this month. The first week of this month. The second week of this month. The third week of this month. And this final week, for us to supply the missing link to live in such a fulfilled life the missing links and as we put those missing links there all of us are living a fulfilled life billionaires are raised achievers are raised oh god holy righteous people are raised soul winners are raised 
People walking in peace and abundance are raised. People that are favored of God are raised here in GRA. No one here is sick. No one here is dead. No one here shall be put to shame. No one here shall go backward. Father, we thank you. Testimony upon testimonies. Testimony upon testimony. Oh, by Wednesday, oh, some stranger testimony. They are coming, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming. Hey, they are coming. They are coming all through this week. As we enter the month of March, we are marching forward. We are marching forward. We are marching forward. Anywhere you are, try to march. March. Just do something. March. March. Take a step. I'm marching forward. Take a step. I'm marching forward. I'm marching forward. I'm marching forward. In the name of Jesus. I'm marching forward in good health, in righteousness, in holiness, in prosperity, in your family, in your marriage, in your advancement, in business. You are marching forward in every endeavors of life. You are marching forward. Father, so let it be. We confess it. We believe it. We act accordingly. And we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to congratulate you because I know by faith, God has done great things in your life. Developing great faith. For 2021 exploit. It's your time. It's your season. It's my season. It's your season. Come on. Get up. Let's go. And do mighty exploit. For Jesus. And Jesus alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to God's From the Assemblies Over Comers World, updated giving platform, Tithely Giving. Our new system makes electronic giving simple and convenient to give to the ministry and missions using your credit card, debit card, or bank account. In addition, you have the added convenience of creating an electronic record of your giving, both with your bank and in your email. Let's get started. You'll be taken to a page hosted by Tithely, a secure, faith-based payment processing company. Enter your payment details from your card or account and the amount you wish to give. If you plan to give regularly online, you can click sign up in the top right corner. This will allow you to create an account by entering your email, a password, and a four-digit PIN. By creating an account, you can save your preferred payment method and not have to re-enter it each time you give. You can always change your payment method whenever you choose to. Just note, you can still complete the giving process even if you choose not to create an account, but you will have to enter your payment details each time you give. When you enter the amount you wish to give, you'll be able to choose where your money goes. 
Click on the drop down menu and select any of the other options to give, like tithes, general offering, or missions, to name a few. You also have the option to choose how often, monthly, weekly, etc., and on which day of the week or date of each month you want your giving to process. You have the option to cover the transaction fees by clicking on Cover Fees. After you have entered all your payment details, you simply click the green Give button at the bottom where the total amount is displayed. If you're using your mobile device to give, it's just as easy. Giving to your local church should be easy. And with Tithely, now it's as easy as sending a text. To get started, text GIVE to your church's giving number. You'll receive a reply linking you to the setup page. Securely enter your information, and you're all set. Now you're ready to give anywhere at any time. Just enter the amount, and you'll receive a confirmation text and an email with your receipt. If you've made a mistake, no problem. Just text REFUND in the reply. Text GIVING with Tithely, the simplest way to give to your local church.